Good morning, my sisters and brothers. I want to welcome you this morning to this glorious prayer meeting. I thank God for giving you the grace to be able to be a partaker of this prayer meeting. I know that God has connected you with this prayer. It will answer the petition and desire of your heart in the name of Jesus. All that you are believing and trusting God for, the Lord will do it in Matthew 19, 26. Matthew 19, 26. Jesus looked at them and said, With man, this is, is impossible. Whatever seems impossible before you. This morning, I want you to understand. But Jesus said, But with God, all things are possible. I know the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the ancient of days. It will intervene concerning your situation this morning in the name of Jesus. I want you to understand that God will do over and above. In our life in 2nd Corinthians chapter 4 verse 16 2nd Corinthians 4 16 the Bible says so we do not lose art though our outer self is wasting away our inner self is being renewed day by day I want you to know that God is renewing your strength is renewing the grace upon your life because salvation is of the Lord in Isaiah chapter 12 verse 2 the Bible says, behold God is my salvation I will trust and will not be afraid for the lord god is my strength my song and he has become my salvation i know this morning the lord has become your salvation the lord is our salvation the lord is our shield and our buckler and this morning the lord will answer for you in the name of jesus all that you are trusting god for all that you are believing god for the lord will do it in your life in the name of Jesus, because our God is God that do wonders, our God that can make all things happen to the name of to the glory of his name, in the name of Jesus, to the glory of the of the name of our Father. He will do all things in your life, in your family, in the name of Jesus. This morning, I want you to release your faith and believe and trust what the Lord is about to do, what the Lord is about to do in your family. The Bible is speaking Philippians 4:19. Philippians 4 19 the Bible says and God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus I said may that be your testimony in the name of Jesus may the Lord supply in first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 11 first Thessalonians 5 11 the Bible says, therefore encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing so as you have attended this prayer i know your faith is being built up in the name of jesus and god will do over and above in your life in your family in the name of jesus because the lord our god is a good god a stronghold in the days of trouble he knows those who take refuge in him and as you take refuge in the lord the lord will meet you at the point of your need so all you need to do my sister my brother this morning is to continue to release your faith this morning we are praying our prayer focus we are praying for divine grace there's a grace that come upon a man there is a grace that come upon a woman and they'll begin to achieve the impossible remember what jesus says he said with man this may be impossible but when the grace of god rests upon you when the grace of jehovah the grace of el shaddai adonai elohim when the grace come upon you the grace of our lord we're talking about divine grace when it come upon you and what it will do is that it will it will allow you to begin to walk in miracle you begin to walk into your breakthrough and that is going to be your testimony in jesus name so this morning we are praying for divine grace divine grace that will keep us walking wonders that will keep walking wonders inside our life that is what we are praying for we are praying for that divine grace the divine grace from above from the king of king from the ancient of days that will keep us that will keep working wonders in our family over our finances concerning our health concerning your situation you need the divine grace of god to rest upon you this morning so we are going to pray for that divine grace that god will release the divine grace upon our life that situation in your life that challenges that setback that confusion that things you are trying that you have not break forth only if god can release a grace when the grace of god rests upon us then it becomes impossible what has become impossible with man will become possible the possibility begin to happen in our life because we are we are carrier of grace and this morning i am praying may you be a carrier of grace 
in the name of Jesus. That this morning, as we pray this prayer, as we make this proclamation, as we make a decree, that Father release into my life the divine grace, that the divine grace that will cost me, that will keep working wonders inside of my life that will keep working wonders in my family in my marriage in my finances concerning my health i want us we are going to pray for that divine grace because when god give you the grace when the grace is released upon your life it's a blessing because a grace mean blessing is a spiritual blessing it's a supernatural blessing that comes from jehovah when it comes upon your life your prayer become answer because then you have been sanctified by a grace you have been consecrated by a grace and when you open your mouth to pray answer comes speedily because there is a you are a grace carrier you carry the grace of god it means the grace of god is upon the goodness of god is upon your life so whatever you lay your hands upon it ask no choice but to prosper that is why this morning my sister my brother you have to pray for that divine grace to come upon you it's a favor it's not a human favor it's a supernatural favor that come upon a person in the name of, when you come upon you anywhere you walk into you are carrier of the grace and when you walk into any offices when you walk into any anywhere you go to the people will see that but they have no choice but to acknowledge the grace of god upon your life when the grace is there it means the glory of god is upon you anywhere you go you receive mercy you receive love the anywhere you enter your because you are carrier of the grace the aroma is around you the aroma is surrounding your life your document receive endorsement no matter how much they are refusing people they have no choice but to accept you because you are carrier of grace because what you're carrying it's not ordinary you are carrying divine assistance you are carrying with you a divine assistance that you are carrying a divine app is with you so anywhere you go divine favor is upon you that is what grace can do grace will cause you to break through where others are failing and that is what grace will do grace will catapult you into a double promotion a double blessing the doors will be opening for you anything you lay your hands upon it just prosper business will prosper for you in the name of jesus as you go your marriage will prosper when the grace of god is upon your life you have no choice you will have to meet your husband your husband will connect with you because you are a carrier of grace because you carry the grace of god your womb will conceive when the grace of god is upon your womb i there is no way no matter what the medical field says your womb will conceive even if you don't have a womb before your womb will conceive because you carry grace grace will cause a new a brand new womb to enter your womb and that is what will happen i want you to understand the grace of god is the compassion of god it is the compassion of god is the leniency of god and no man no man can give you it's only god that is why this morning my sister my brother there is a reason why god has allowed you to be in this prayer meeting this morning and i want you to be part of this pray for that grace to be upon you the mercy of god pray for that grace to rest upon you the grace that will cause wonders to keep happening in your life that will cause you with miracles testimony to begin to happen in your life that grace when you are carrier of it anywhere you go maybe they have dishonored you before they have no choice they will honor you anywhere you go maybe they have disfavored you before they have no choice they will favor you this time around maybe they have rejected you you'll be appointed i want you to understand that when you carry grace grace is a powerful tool when god release grace upon your life upon your family upon your children you will live in favor you will live in the miraculous and that will be your testimony so this morning my sister my brother I want us to lift up our voice and begin to thank the ancient of this the king of glory the creator of heaven and earth that is about to release grace upon you no man can give you grace only god is the only one that give grace so this morning begin to thank him for the grace that god is about to release into your life the grace that will work wonders the grace that will birth miracles for you the grace that will bring your breakthrough to come to pass i want you to thank the lord this morning that father i thank you for divine grace that you are about to release into my life divine grace over my children the divine grace concerning my workplace when you go into your workplace instead of you being be, being tormented instead of you being abused in your workplace they honor you you don't have to be the boss you don't have to be the manager but you carry grace because of the grace upon your life they have no choice they have to respect you they have to honor you anywhere you go 
I want you to know, begin to thank God this morning. That Father, I thank you for your grace upon my life, for the grace you are about to release this morning upon my family, upon my children, upon my finances, upon my business. Maybe you're a business owner. I want you to thank God this morning. When your business carry the grace of God, anywhere you submit application any mail you submit tender anywhere you submit for contract you they have no choice but they have to honor you because your business carry a grace there is a grace upon your business where people are being rejected when you enter there because of the grace of god the doors will be open for you i want you to thank god this morning father i thank you this morning i give you glory father i praise your name i thank you for your grace that you're about to release into my life the grace of god father i give you glory i thank you for the grace upon my fa- for my children i thank you for the grace upon my family this morning beloved i want you to thank god for the grace the grace that god has about to release upon you i want you to know that this morning when this grace truly fall upon you this morning if you pray through today everything that has not yielded to you before they have no choice but to listen to you ah this morning i want you to pray that father as i go this morning let the grace of god let the grace of jehovah may he rest upon me father in the name of jesus i want you to pray and ask god for that grace this morning and thank god and say father i thank you for the grace upon me the grace upon my life the grace upon my children your divine grace your supernatural grace begin to ask tell god this morning praise the name of the father praise the king of king the lord of lord the haitian of this i want you to thank him this morning thank him father because of what you have done the creator of heaven and earth, the everlasting father the immortal king the supreme lord let's thank him this morning father we exalt your name for the grace you are about to release into our life daddy we praise your name the omnipotent father the omnipotent father father we give you glory we give you honor we thank you father for the grace upon our family for the grace upon our children this morning father we praise your name my sister my brother i want you to thank god for the grace of god for the grace that god has about to release into your life in the name of jesus maybe you have been disgraced before maybe you have gone to a place that they have they have shown you wickedness but when you go back with grace when the grace of god is upon you whatever you say you go for job interview there is a grace upon your life they have no choice but to accept you in the name of jesus i want you to thank god this morning the father i thank you for your grace upon my life for your grace upon my household i give you glory i give you honor i say thank you jehovah a prata caligo socurandi menus and pride in canoes kepayakatakalian. The grace of God will bring favor your way. I want you to thank God this morning, Father. I give you glory. 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 Somebody praise God this morning. I want you to thank God for the grace that God has about to release upon your life. The divine grace. The grace that God is about to give into your family. The grace of God over your children. The grace of God over your spouse. The grace of God over your womb. Begin to pray for divine grace. Begin to thank God this morning. The Father, I give you praise. I say thank you, Jehovah. I praise your name. Le Pakadus in Prata Kalian. The grace of God is the kindness of God. Father, we say thank you. Beloved, this morning we are going to praise. We are going to praise and give God and thank God this morning. In 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, the Bible says, He said to me, My grace is sufficient for you. The grace of God is sufficient. He said, For my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weakness, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me beloved when we talk about divine grace we are talking about the power of christ we are talking about the power of jesus upon your life and that is what we are speaking about you need that power in any way you go to achieve to walk in testimony to walk in your breakthrough this morning i want us to pray and declare over your life the bible says in second corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 the bible says my grace is sufficient for you father i pray may your grace be sufficient for me i pray for divine grace lord i pray this morning lord release your grace upon my family release your grace upon my household in the name of jesus somebody i want you to open your mouth this morning only if you can tap into the grace of god only if you can walk in the grace of god only if you can receive the grace this morning i say your breakthrough will manifest they will have no choice 
this morning begin to ask God this morning father I pray may your grace be sufficient for me may your grace be sufficient for me I pray for your divine grace Liga Satus Kalia Liba Sakaya Kotoko Ligaranti Father I decree and declare may the grace of God may he rest upon me father daddy I pray this morning may your grace rest upon my life I pray father Makunte Keliga Rahantu E Prata Kaligo Sakaya Katakalia Libra Takadus and Prata Kalia my sister my brother I want you to pray for that grace over your business over your job interview over your immigration paper begin to pray for grace father release your grace upon me concerning the relationship you're about to enter begin to pray for the grace of God that your spouse to be your husband to be he will respect you he will favor you Malika Sakaya your wife to be will favor you begin to pray this morning that father release the grace upon my life I pray for your sufficient grace your divine grace Lord I pray this morning I say my sister my brother ask for that grace this morning the Bible says ask and you shall receive begin to pray may God open the overdoors of heaven may he pour the, his grace upon your life I say this morning pray for that grace I want you to ask God this morning that father release your grace into my life in the name of Jesus as I go this morning I want to walk in grace the grace of God there is something about divine grace when divine grace is upon you you live a victorious life the Bible says my grace is sufficient for you Libratos Cipriante Kenusia, the Lord will strengthen you when you receive that grace. Begin to pray this morning, my sister, my brother. I want you to cry to the Lord and ask God this morning that Father, I need your grace, the grace to fulfill destiny, the grace for your breakthrough to come to you, the grace to, to walk in your settlement. Begin to ask God this morning, Father, your divine grace, the grace of God when you come upon you. Oh, Liba Saka Yakotokolia, you begin to walk in greatness, you begin to walk in the glory of the Lord in the name of Jesus everything concerning you begin to break forth Liba Sakaya you begin to walk in wonders your doors begin to open for you I say opportunity begin to come your way as you begin to walk in divine grace begin to ask God this morning that father release grace upon me I pray father may your grace come upon me this morning Lord I pray in this month of January and the rest of this year I want to walk in grace the divine grace of God may you rest upon you the grace of God will cause you to be promoted in your workplace I said this morning if you begin to walk in grace you begin to be promoted promotion will come rapid promotion will begin to come your way begin to ask God this morning me Kaba Sakaya the grace of God will cause you to locate your own husband who cause your husband to locate you your husband to be your wife to be I want you to pray this morning my sister may the grace of God it will cause you to conceive without miscarrying Liga Sakaya Kotokolia somebody pray for that grace I want you to pray for that grace. I want you to pray for that grace this morning. That Father, I am praying the grace of God, the extraordinary grace that will launch you into a new season, a season of breakthrough, a season of testimony. Begin to pray for that grace. That Father, I pray this morning, release the grace upon me, the grace of God that will expire every same in your life. I want you to pray this morning. That Lord, I pray, Liga Saka Yakotokolia, the grace of God, when it come upon your life, it will bring unexpected blessings will begin to come your way as you go about your daily activity you just see blessing flowing your way the blessing of God coming your way incredible blessing extraordinary blessing begin to come your way because you are a carrier of grace you are a carrier of grace begin to pray this morning father make me a carrier of your grace make me a carrier of your grace anywhere I go today Liga Saka abundance will come your way I say fruitfulness will come your way as you because you have been empowered because there is a special grace upon you anywhere you go my sister my brother you go be living in financial dominion because you are carrier of grace you are a candidate of grace begin to pray this morning the father release upon me the garment of your grace in the name of Jesus anywhere I go let the crown of grace be upon my head in the name of Jesus I say my sister when the crown of grace is upon your head you'll be attractive to your own divine husband Sakaya. you will not be able to resist you anywhere you go this morning me pasaka ya katakalia when the grace of god is upon your womb ah when you conceive you will not be able to miscarry because there is a grace upon your womb i want you to pray this morning when you go for job interview when you are a carrier of grace once you go before the panel they will have no choice but to appoint you because you
for a career of grace when you go for business appointment you will not have no trouble to receive that contract because there's a grace upon your business i want you to pray this morning my sister my brother that father release your grace upon me by fire by force father i am praying by fire by power in the name of jesus father i pray in the name of jesus lord release your grace divine grace divine grace divine grace divine grace divine grace that will launch you into a new season divine grace that will bring unlimited success your way that will catapult you into your breaking begin to pray for that grace father i receive the grace the divine grace in the name of jesus when you have divine grace in your life do you have no choice but to walk in joy to rejoice at all time this morning my sister my brother i want you to pray that father release your grace upon me divine grace upon my life upon my children upon my marriage i want you to pray this morning you begin to walk in abundance super abundance in the name of jesus because you are walking in grace as you walk in grace as the grace of god is upon you whatever you have lost you begin to restore because there is a grace upon you in the name of jesus you all of a sudden you become a champion you become a winner and that is what will be your testimony my sister my brother i want you to know the grace of god will begin to encourage you i said this morning as you walk in grace you begin to live in surplus in the name of jesus you begin to fulfill your destiny i want you to pray for that grace 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 divine grace divine grace divine grace lord release upon me release upon me release upon me release upon him let it overshadow my life in the name of jesus me kabasaka ya kotokolia elibra takaligo sokorandi mene kotoli bayaka dakalia elibra tuzia i decree and declare over your life the bible says my grace is sufficient for you i say may the grace of god may it be sufficient for you 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 in every area of your life i say may the grace of god may the divine grace of god may it be sufficient for you i say from today you are candidate for grace you are candidate for grace you are carrier of grace anywhere you go i decree and i prophesy into your life this morning i say you are carrier of grace you are carrier carrier of grace you are carrier of grace i say you are carrier of grace by fire by power anywhere you go i say you are carrier of grace in the name of jesus i say may the grace of god may you rest upon you the grace of our lord jesus christ may you rest upon you i decree this morning i say wherever you go Liga sakaya miracle will be a common place for you in the name of jesus the grace of god the grace of god we attract into your life divine joy will begin to come in your life unexpected blessing i say this morning I decree over your life. I say today, I say, may you be anywhere you go, the garment of grace. I say, may you come upon you. You are a candidate and a carrier of divine grace. Wherever you go, you carry the grace of God. 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 In the name of Jesus, I say, the grace of God that will catapult you into your testimony. I say, may you fall upon you. May you fall upon you. May you fall upon you. May you come upon you. May come upon you in the name of jesus i say somebody receive right now i see somebody walking in miracle right now in the name of jesus i say may the grace of god divine grace may you fall upon your womb right now in the name of jesus for as many of you you are trusting god for the fruit of the womb i decree over your womb i say right now the grace to conceive 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 may you fall upon you may you fall upon you may you fall upon you in the name of Jesus, I command this morning. I say this morning, as you listen to this prayer, Liga Saka Yakata, you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I say this morning, the grace to conceive, the grace to conceive, the grace to conceive, the grace to conceive, the grace to conceive. May it fall upon you, may it fall upon your womb. I say now, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. I decree it in the name of Jesus. I say the grace to conceive your baby, to conceive your baby, and carry to full time. I say may you come upon you that grace that will cause you to fufu in the name of jesus that grace to conceive your baby to carry to full time healthy baby to deliver safely i said may you come upon you i said that grace receive right now divine grace supernatural grace may you come upon you 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 may you
may it come upon you may it come upon you may it come upon you in the name of jesus i declare and decree as many this morning you are trusting god for your own husband for your own wife i said the grace the grace to connect the grace to connect the grace to connect the grace to connect your own husband your own wife i said receive receive right now receive right now receive right now in the name of jesus i decree it i command it over your life i said this morning i prophesy it i said that grace to connect your husband to connect your wife to be i said this morning receive right now receive by fire receive by fire by the power of the holy ghost i said this morning receive that favor receive that grace receive that grace the grace that will connect you to your own husband to your own wife to be i said this morning receive that grace receive that grace the grace of god that will break over your life the marital bondage in the name of jesus i said marital delay i said this morning the grace of god may you fall upon you may you fall upon you may you fall upon you receive that grace the divine grace the divine grace i said by fire i said receive 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 may you break through may you break through may you break through maritally 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 in the name of jesus i decree over your life i said this morning as many of my sister and my brother you are trusting god for a godly husband a godly wife your own ordained husband your soulmate i pray today may the lord connect you may he connect you the grace the grace the grace the grace the grace to connect 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 may he fall upon you lead that sakayaka takalian i prophesy i decree it in the name of jesus i said receive that grace receive that grace the divine grace the divine grace the extraordinary grace to connect your husband to connect your wife in the name of jesus i said this morning i said receive you are trusting god for a job i decree over your life i said this morning as you go for that job interview as you apply for that job i pray for the grace the grace to connect your own job i said this morning the lord release upon you the garment of grace lead us may the grace fall upon you the grace of our lord jesus christ may you rest upon you may you rest upon you as you go for that job interview i said that grace to connect to connect to connect to break through to break through in your job i said lord may you receive may you receive may you receive the grace of god that will cause you to be promoted in your workplace i said this morning receive that grace receive that grace that grace that will cause you to find favor favor with your manager with your employer i said this morning the grace of god may it rest upon your life you are a carrier of grace i decreed over your life i said this morning you have no choice you're a carrier a carrier of grace leader sakaya kaligo sukriante and nukata kayako tokolia i decree over your life i said today no more shame you are a carrier of god grace because you're a child of god because you're a child of the king of the most high i said from this hour you are a carrier of grace you are a carrier of grace anywhere you go you carry grace you carry grace you carry grace may the grace of god may you rest upon you 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 every satanic mark every satanic label every satanic garment every garment of shame garment of delay garment of hindrance garment of stagnation in your life they are consumed by fire they are destroyed they are destroyed the lord take them off the lord wipe them away in the name of jesus every evil mark upon your life i decree this morning i said lord the lord release upon you divine grace divine grace divine grace divine grace in your place of work receive the grace receive the grace the grace to fulfill the grace to fulfill the grace to fulfill if you're a business owner i decree into your life and i say concerning your business may your business may it carry grace i say from today may your business carry grace anywhere the name of your business is mentioned i say may it carry grace may it carry grace may it carry grace divine grace divine grace upon your business i decree divine grace divine grace divine grace divine grace divine grace divine grace i pray me and i declare over all application that has been made for immigration whatever it may be for whether for visa whether for citizenship whatever for immigration stay i decree over your life every application for immigration purpose i pray this morning may the grace of god may you rest upon it all your application all your document i said this morning may the grace of god the grace of god the grace of god the grace of our lord jesus christ may you rest upon your document upon your document upon your document upon your document in the name of jesus i decree i said this morning may the grace may you fall upon you may you fall upon you may you fall upon you upon your document in the home office 
I say this morning, may the grace of God, may you rest upon it, 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 may you find favor, may you find favor, may you find favor. I decree the grace of God over your finances. And I say this morning, the grace of God over your finances. In the name of Jesus, I say may the grace of God, may you rest upon you, your finances, your finances, your finances, your finances, your health, the grace of God, the grace of God, your grace of God, the grace of God. Anything that wants to disgrace you, I say today, may the grace of God swallow it up. In the name of Jesus, Liga Sakaya, that property you want to buy, that house you want to buy, I decree and declare, may the grace of God, may you fall upon you, 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 may you fall upon you. Anywhere you go, I say, may you receive in the name of Jesus that benefit you are praying for. Liga Sakaya Kotolia, Liga Sakadusia, may the purpose of God, the grace of God, may you rest upon your application for that benefit in the name of Jesus as you apply may you receive 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 now in the name of Jesus may copa saka yandi niga kadus e prata kalia Librata kaya koto koli bradusia, e libradus e prata kali masokurandi, nenus e prata kalia, libra, ligo seke tekelia. I decree and declare, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, may it be sufficient for you, in the name of Jesus, so shall it be, in Jesus, mighty name we pray, amen, amen in Jesus name. My sister, my brother, this morning, I am rest assured, and I want to congratulate you, that God has released divine grace upon your life there is a grace flowing i can see the anointing flowing upon your life right now i see the anointing the grace of god flowing in your life in every area of your life in your marriage in your finances concerning your health concerning your business concerning your job concerning every need of your life i see grace i see grace i see grace i see divine grace of god divine grace of god of our lord jesus christ flowing around about you in the name of jesus I said this morning as you go, may you walk in that grace. May you walk in the grace of God. In the name of Jesus. That will be your testimony. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. My sister, my brother, I want to congratulate you once again. Because I know God has done it. In your life as you go this morning, there is a grace upon your life. I want you to believe it. There is a grace upon your life as you go this morning. Whatever you are trusting God for, there is a grace. You are not ordinary anymore. There is a grace upon your life. I want you to believe it. There is a grace upon your life. And that grace will begin to work for you. It will connect you. It will lead you. It will guide you in the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Before you leave, I want to encourage as many that are in this prayer meeting tonight. Please, I want you to subscribe. If you are the first time of coming across this prayer channel, I want to encourage you to please subscribe to this channel. There's a reason why God has connected you. And please, the reason shall be fulfilling your life in Jesus' name. And I know, because you have subscribed to this channel, you will never regret it. That you have subscribed. Because God will use this channel to bless your life and to bless your family and everything that concerns you in the name of Jesus. And above all, my sister, my brother, I want you to share this with your friends and family. People on your social link. I want you to copy the link and just share with them. Some of them will be blessed. Put it on your status and they can be blessed also with this prayer. There are people out there. They are trusting God for grace. Grace to excel. Grace to break through in their life. That they may pray this prayer and they may break forth also in the name of Jesus. And above all, I want to invite every one of us here that are listening to this prayer, to the, our prayer on Friday. We have our monthly prayer on Friday, which is called the Breakthrough Fire Prayer. I want to encourage you as many that are free you can make it it start at uk 12 midnight to 2 a.m it's a two hour solid fire prayer in the holy ghost i want you to be part of this prayer because many are testifying to the glory of god because god is doing wonders in their life in the life of the people and i want you to be a benefactor of this prayer please join us this friday from 12 midnight to 2 a.m and be part of this prayer. Bring your prayer point along. Whatever is your prayer need, bring it along. I know that with God, all things are possible. And God will do that in your life, in your family, in your finances, in every area and every facet, a department of your life. God will do over and above in your life. As you join us this Friday to be part of this Breakthrough Fire prayer. And as you join, I want you to invite your friends also. Invite your families. 
and if you have if you if you are a member you are you are subscribed please click the, the the bell the notification bell that will allow that will alert you when the prayer is about to start you will you receive the alert but if you have not clicked the the notification bell on on our website i want you to click it on the, on the youtube site if you click it then you can be receiving the notification easily because many people uh, do ask me they're not receiving it the notification is because you have not clicked uh the bell on, on our youtube page when you click it it means your name will be added to the notifications and you receive the notifications regularly in the name of jesus and above all my sisters and brother i want you to go out today and believing that you have received the divine grace the divine grace has been has fallen upon your life in the name of jesus god bless you have a wonderful day to the glory of the father in jesus